I've pulled the World Loops Session. This is a nice percussive foundation for me to experiment and compose on top of. Again, I'll be showing this inside of Bitwig, but the process should be largely identical in any digital audio workstation. First things first, before we can jump in, we need to make sure our DAW is recognizing the Seaboard and receiving MIDI data. Open up the Preferences menu and navigate to the MIDI or Controller section on your DAW's preferences. Make sure that you see the Rolly Seaboard Rise listed and that it's selected as an input. In some cases, it may be selected as an output automatically as well, which is totally fine and you can leave that the way that it is. Next, we need to select a MIDI track to insert Equator onto. This might be called something like Software Instrument Track in your DAW. From your browser, locate where your plugins are and find Equator for Rise in the list. Equator will run as a VST, audio unit, or standalone. Right now, I'm going to be running it as a VST. Once I have it loaded in, I'll press a few keys here to make sure that I'm hearing sound and that all parties are communicating properly. Now let's record some material onto this track and see what there is to see. I'm also going to record a short video of this performance on my phone, which I'll use later when submitting my second assignment. I've got the track armed. I'm going to press record on the transport and lay some chords into the arrangement. All right, I'm happy with that. So let's open up this MIDI clip in the editor to see the details of our performance. Right away, you can see pitch bend or glide information for each individual note, which is really cool. I can then go in here and edit the performance by clicking on any of these breakpoints and deleting them or adding more in. So what I'm going to do is create a dip at the very end by just pulling these down. And let's play this back and hear what happens. Cool. Now, if I toggle the note expression settings, I'll find even more details about my performance. Here are all the velocities for each individual note, which would correlate to strike. Let's also look at pressure here, which correlates to press. Again, here we have very detailed per note information, this time showing us aftertouch data, which can also be edited. Timbre equates to slide, and you can access release velocity in Bitwig by opening up the inspector panel after clicking on a MIDI note, and we'll see it listed here under release velocity. Every DAW has a different way of showing you MIDI and MPE data, and in order to edit it, you need to figure out where that is. You can visit Rolly's knowledge base for up-to-date info on this. If you were in MIDI mode during your performance and were using the touch faders to perform some sort of modulation, you can find them in the automation lanes under their specific CC number. For details on exact CC mappings for the touch faders, XY pad, and pedal, please refer to the dashboard manual.